Okay, so today we're going to take a look through an example of the question that you've been assigned. Um, just work through it in two different ways. First of all, using real money. And second of all, I will go on the computer and show you an example of how you can use the app to do this as well. So, we're going to start out by saying that vowels are going to be worth 50 cents each. So that's A, E, I, O, and U. And consonants are going to be worth 40 cents each. And we're going to go through, take a couple of words, and figure out how much those words are worth all together when we add up those values. So let's start with our vowels. So here we have three, A, E, and A again. So I'm going to get out 50 cents for each of those. And then we have one, two, three, four, five consonants. So each of those we're going to get out 40 cents. Now, I'm going to have to make it a couple of different ways because just like our last example, I only have one lonely dime. So for our first 40 cents, I'm going to do 25, 10 cents more to make 35, and then 40. And for the rest, I'm going to have to use just a quarter here. So second one, 25, and then I'm just going to go up by fives. 30, 35, 40. And I'm going to do that for the rest of each of my consonants now. So now I'm ready to add these all together, but to make it easier, I'm going to divide up my coins determining, or I'm going to divide them up by each type of coin. So I'm going to put all my quarters into one pile, my only dime into one pile, and all my nickels in a separate pile. And now I'm ready to total up the dollar value. So I'm going to start with my quarters, and we're going to count by 25s, just like yesterday. Remembering that every four quarters is going to be equal to one dollar. So I can say one, two, three, four. It's going to give me one dollar. Another one, two, three, four for two dollars. Then I've got three left. So that's going to be 25, 50. 75. So altogether in quarters now, I have 275. Dimes, just one, 10 cents. And nickels, I'm going to count them two at a time and I'm going to count by tens. So we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 65 cents altogether. So now that I have those values, I can add them together to figure out how much the word is worth all together. Let's start by combining these two, because all we have to think is, what's 65 and 10 more? So if we want to add them together, we can say 65 cents plus 10 more cents. 5 plus 0 is 5. 6 plus 1 is 7. And we're still talking about 75 cents, so we'll make sure we're writing that properly. So now we have 75. and 275. So let's add those together. Seventy-five. Here I'm going to divide my columns. Ones, tens, hundreds. So I'm going to start with five plus five, which equals ten in the ones place, 
is the 0, and the 10 that we created comes up. And I have 7 plus 1, which equals 8, and 8 plus 7 more is 15. So once again, I'll put the 5 in the 1's column and bring over the new one. Here I'm adding 1 plus 2 plus 0. And just like we wrote the decimal point in the same place in our dollar values, we're going to put it at the bottom. And all together, the word baseball equals $3.50. Okay. In this part of the lesson, we're going to take a really simple example and run through it using the Mathies Money app. First thing I'm going to do here is get rid of some of the bills because we don't need those. I'm just going to uncheck each of those. You'll see them disappearing from the cash register. And as well, we'll get rid of the pennies. So we're ready to get started. And I started with a really simple word here. Eat. Each vowel, A-E-I-O-U, is worth 50 cents. Each consonant is worth 40 cents. So we're going to get out the coins that we need. So E is a vowel, 50 cents. So I'm actually just going to switch this to two times two and get out two quarters here. And I should make these a little bit bigger too. Oops. Those there, I think that goes yet. A, another 50 cents. So I'm going to get out another two quarters. And the T down there is worth 40 cents. So I'm going to get out one quarter. One dime and one nickel. So I need 25 cents, 35 cents, and 40. And I got all my cash out. I'm ready to count it up. And what I'm going to do is group them into dollars because I find those easier to count. So I know that if I got 25, 50, 70, one dollar right there. I might even want to grab my pencil, put a circle around that, and label it one dollar. Now all I have left to count here is the change, because I know I've already used this one and this one. All I have left here is for four. Now this one is actually quite easy to add on. I'm going to have all together one dollar a decimal place to show the cents, and 40. Pretty easy. When you're doing larger numbers, you may even want to, once you've collected up a dollar value, just get rid of your pencil, and trade those. So four quarters are worth a dollar. So I'm going to get rid of those, but I'm going to make sure I get out a dollar to replace them with. When you get into bigger numbers, it makes it much easier to count up. All right. Now we're going to try a slightly more complicated example. So let's take a bigger word. And let's take the word Montrose this time. So I'm going to put down a text box. Bigger. And let's count that up. So I'm going to start with my vowels, and for each vowel, I'm going to get out two quarters. So there's the O, goes there. Then my next vowel, another O, and the E at the bottom. Now I need 40 cents for each consonant. Now I have one, two, three, four, five consonants I need to do. And here's another trick that I can use. I know that to make 40 cents, I need one quarter, 25 cents, one dime, and one nickel. 35, 40 cents. So I'm going to highlight all three. And then for this button here, we're just going to make a copy. Three, copy, and then put one of those next to each of my other consonants. So now I have a total cash value here, and now I can 
arrange them into dollars or arrange them by the coin type that they are and use that to figure out how much I have. So let's start by making dollars. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four for one dollar. Next, I'm going to get my drawer out and I'm going to trade those in. So four quarters go out, one dollar in. And I'm going to keep on doing that for all, all of this. One, two, three, four. And then I have one, two, three. So I know I can trade these for a dollar. And if I want to get this to another dollar, then I just need another 25 cents here. So I can also take 10, 20, 25, and then I've got 25, 50, 75, another dollar. And now I'm down to my nickels and dimes. So here are the dimes, 10, 20, 30 cents. Nice and easy to count those by tens. 35, 40, 45, and 50 cents. So altogether I have $3. Decimal point. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 cents. There we go.